Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street? Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. <laughs> There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? 
I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want one signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favour. How do I know you're good for your favours? You can bank my favours. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. Get over here. What for? Now! What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. <laughs> no, I'm not tying anyone up. You're gonna tie her up right now. Look, this is insane. You heard the lady. <laughs> Come on, mate. Calm down, all right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. <sighs> Get out! Oh, sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. You're out of your fucking mind! Right, now you get in the car. Hey, right, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. So I can go now, right? You stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You done now? Get in the house. Have I checked your gear? Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we all check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? 
you fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant than anyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get all of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams, this will all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find us at one. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut? Mystery ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What, and your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. Sold for 950,000 pounds. This 
marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is 150 grand. For its time. Just Thank trying to keep it out of the tray. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Go upstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Time. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bid. Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Of Thank the you, Richard, price, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, madam. Bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? The odds are not good. Nine I'm, I'm looking for. Price increases are logarithmic. All around I'm the room. On zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. The chance of getting away with another nine bid. Nine million. Oh, so do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Trust nine million on once. This. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Twenty-three percent. I guess we'll never know, will we? Come on, let's get out of here. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well, stopping Mei Ling like that. Don't know what got into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon? Please, the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance.
Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it. Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay. Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. I did not expect this to go that smoothly. I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Well, thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, though. Well, we have it. Thank fuck for that. Let's just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left, some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out!
Vai. Vai, Ling. Vai, Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, this petrol, look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. We need to get away from here. Going. We're going to take this bolt of woos to finish what you started. Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? Uh, uh, what do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four of me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four of me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. A fortune cookie. Fuck fortune cookies. Hey, I like them. These two. I told them to wait. What makes you believe you can just walk in here? Hola, hola. Would you want me to go into your home just like that? Come through. What's your business?
。老细，呢个咪蔡家嘅碗。Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead. Okay, that's why we brought you a bow. My bow. Adam, turn by each other. Managing to steal that bowl. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that bowl is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family. Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom, go on, Cordy, talk away. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. One double room, please. Name? Smith? Smith. Really? I panicked. Turn the telly on. Did you believe, Wu? That he knew nothing about the job? He looked convincing, didn't he? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> no, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath.
What? There's no glass. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. No time for love, Dr. Jones. It's believed despite the extent of the robbery, which resulted in the hospitalization of three employees, only one item was stolen from the auction house, a Chinese porcelain bowl. Nice which had just been auctioned for the reported value of 10 million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high-performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. Though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle, its contents... The choice will believe the vault's history. Your choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How oh, very compassionate of him. That this blast. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at. Fucking hell. He was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. This doesn't make any sense. Mate, we got him killed by taking it there. And we're next. We need to get out of the city. Yeah. Yeah, I agree 100%. Are you crazy? Having that is going to get us killed. Well, we're not having it is what got Wu killed. Hello? Mr. Smith? Yeah? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? There's someone downstairs. Wait, where's it been now? Yeah? Where's it been now? Why are you locked? Why did you turn that? They're coming. Who made it? I was alive. Give me the ball. Papa, bring the one here. Trust me, please. Don't bring the one. Why? Come on. Poor guy. Hurry up, find him. This is a big mess. Matt, slow down. I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, so what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Okay. 
Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy was selling the vault? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At the Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is the process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh, my God. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Shit. Brilliant. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean? We don't really have much choice. Yeah, well, my father's taught me one thing. It's in a situation like this, you're best off smacking the biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on. You didn't believe that. Hey, you. So we're bust up this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, smug boy? Come on, let him be. Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You got a bus to catch, have you? <laughs> let him go! <laughs> Oh, more like a limousine, if you ask me, smug boy. The police. It's okay. We're only having a fucking play, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. Yeah. Fucking hell. Guy nearly choked me. I'm sorry. You were probably right. The auction guy, Jeffrey, nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl right after the expert on stage had it. And before we stole it. It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. That's threatening. Hi, I'm, I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course, I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks.
you um you work here. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry you got involved. I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room. Look, I know you wanted to help me out tonight, but I can't give you any information about that patient. So he's here. Fuck, I shouldn't have even told you that. Come on, Matt. Let's try the other. Wait. Shit. She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. Thank you. What? I didn't tell you anything? So, um, who's the girl? Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Oh, you wish. They wanted me to use the internet. Oh my God. I know, you must be like 80, right? No, 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 I think I just worked out how Pa got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. You, you remember me, right? You, you shouldn't be here. No, no. Listen to me. I'm a peaceful woman. I don't want to hurt you. But if you try that again, believe me, the bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do we have an agreement? Uh, yes. Good. Now tell us about your deal with Samuel Paul. You know you replaced the force in rice bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the rice bowl? It's stolen. Look at me, I was beaten up. Where is it? Where'd you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is it? I haven't taken it. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? No, I can't do it. I just can't talk to someone in a hospital bed. Don't you get too comfortable, mate. You're still up to your neck in this, all right? The chores are after anyone who came into contact with their bowl. Now what? Uh, we know he swapped it, but why did he take it? That's right. We do know he swapped it. And he must have reported it to Pa. I don't understand. Look, you're the one who made the thing, okay? So Pa knows you'd recognize it in an instant. What do you think he'd say? If you thought Laughing Boy here had fucked up in all the excitement. Let's find out. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Pa. Oh, Let's move in. It's 5.30 in the morning and he answered on the first ring. He doesn't have it. He's waiting for the news. 
Yes, I'm still here. What the hell happened tonight? People are dead. I was involved, but the job was a fake, and so was the accident. Just too convenient. The ball in fire, impossible to be dated. I survived the crash, yes. Yes, yes, I did. And it's lucky for you that I did, because your inside man, whoever he was, fucked up. <laughs> oh, stop pretending. I've got the original. I can tell the difference between the original and my forgery, Mr. Puff. I'm calling because I want to make an offer. I'm not... Listen to me. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm prepared to bring you the original, but I want protection from the choice. Think it over. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, shit. Now, mate, I would say it's somewhat in your best interest to help us stop par. Wouldn't you agree? We? Oui? Where is the original? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. We have to go back to Ainsworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But who does? Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we. Oui. Never here, right? Yes. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Go well soon. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Mate, what the fuck happened? We have her. If you find the ball, bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring it to the lobby of our hotel by nine tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello.
in reception. Mr Quinn is in room 13. What the hell do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Car park. You don't work here? Picking up. Mr. Quinn sent me down. Oh shit, do I look shifty? The car park's just through those two. Thank you. That's a lot of fucking money. I could just walk away with this. Hello? Matt. It's me. Mate. I don't have much time. Have you got the ball? Yeah. I'm in the back of Ainsworth and I've got it in my hand. Don't bring it here. What are you talking about? They're gonna fucking kill you. I can't do that anyway. We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. Uh, any suggestions? We need to get part of it. Salsi. Salsi, no. Wait. Wei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance.
No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Speak to the chief psycho. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And he'll want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't. Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you. Well, I've... I'll deal with this. Are you looking for something? Didn't May Ling send you? We know each other, yeah. Where is it? Well, like Mei Ling already told you, Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. Don't play games with me. Where is it? You mean this? Take a look. This is? The copy. Don't think of us as stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognise her own work when she sees it. You paid her to do it. So she won't mind me destroying it? Even with the choice still on the rampage. You think I'm worried about that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's find out. That would be unwise, wouldn't it? Not with the choice on the rampage. Mm. Smart move. Now, where is my original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. We need to adjust a little deal. How much? Half the selling price. 4.5 million? I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch! Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> He's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. This is the bowl that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just, just wait! Maybe, help me, please! What's he going to do with him? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Chances. Fuck the chances. That's what I say. <laughs> 